This week we get to introduce you to our teacher of the week, Miss Tina Petty. She's a high school math teacher and a soccer coach at Southside High School in Beaufort County. Good morning. Thanks Good for coming. Morning. Thank you for having me. All right, so you have been teaching for about 30 years and you've been yes. spending most of your career at this high school in Beaufort County. Soccer coach and math teacher. Talk about some of the chaos. I'm told you don't have a planning period. No, no. <laughs> this year um, we're one teacher down. It's a little tough to find math teachers. Mm -hmm. um, so I've, I've taken on extra classes this year so that our students don't have to have substitutes in there um, mm -hmm. the whole year. So it's been a little bit tough, a lot, a lot going on, but, mm -hmm. um, but still been a great year so far. And in your nomination, a lot of it said and attributed that you were so organized and so supportive to your students. How do you make sure that they feel seen and important and learning math, which including Stop. myself, <laughs> uh, some students struggle with? <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, just making myself available to them, making sure that they know that I'm there to help. Mm -hmm. um, giving them plenty of time to ask questions if they have questions, staying after school for tutoring, you know, basically just letting them know that I'm their support and if they need anything that I'm there for them. All right, you're also a soccer coach and you coach with your husband who also yes. teaches at the school and your son um, who teaches nearby. Yes. Um, how is that? That's great. I, <laughs> I absolutely love the time. I know people are like, how in the world do you spend so much time with your husband, but like I said, he's he's my best friend and he's my support system. Um, and we just, I feel like make a great team is working for and the And supporting kids. her this morning as well here in studio with us. Um, but you also come from a family educators. Your daughter is going to be teaching yes. with you in the math department next yes. year, filling that vacancy. How exciting yes. is that? That's very exciting. I always knew she was going to be a teacher. She kept <laughs> saying she wasn't, um, but I knew she was. And But it's such a blessing that she's going to be home back to her home school. And so you so. are so involved and so is your family within the school district. Um, are, how do you, what do you convey to your students both in the classroom and your athletes out on the field? What are some of the important things you want to, to um, take with main them? Main thing for them, just never give up. If it's something that they want, they just need to go for it. Give it all they've got and, and see where it goes from there. All right, and you, again, have been teaching for 30 years. What are you looking forward to as you go through the rest of your career? You had said, and she told me earlier she has no plans retiring. So I'm like, how long are you going to keep this going? <laughs> Not sure yet. I mean, my whole family's at Southside. So, you know, and Southside is the most amazing place to work. Mm -hmm. It is, is a family there as well. So... I'm not sure. I'm not, not sure how many more years I have in me, but got All a few right. more. Well, Southside is sure lucky to have you. Congratulations, Ms. Tina. You, so you are our WITN Teacher of the Week.